Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Omni Factory playthrough. I am just crafting up some of the tier two circuits here because I am apparently completely bad at math. <laughs> That's right, I did three of these and I put 12 of those in, and I only needed nine. But uh, yeah, so got some of the refined processors because, as we remember last episode, we uh, went ahead and got some very basic auto crafting up. So I want to, oh my goodness, left click, not right click. Yep. I wanted to kind of get some more automation today. So basically we're at a point in the pack. We just got some automation. And before we start just building everything willy nilly, I do kind of want to get set up here for moving forward. So basically, all these machines are going to need as many kind of faces as we need uh, for um, interfaces and all sorts of stuff. So this kind of setup is probably not going to work because say I want the compressor, I would have to put the way this is set up, I would have to put an interface right here and that would block that. So that's not kind of what we want. And um, in general, what I usually do, I think I'm probably going to do this again, is have the power underneath. We did talk about um, making kind of a basement. So I'm going to have to still do that. I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Um, but uh, we'll do that, I think, and have like a nice kind of like open area um, for that now. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, but before we get into that, I think I'm gonna need to, I'm trying to think what is, I. all right, so we need interfaces. Interface is super, super important. So if we remember, the interface is this. So we've got, I go on ahead and got the formation cores, we've got the robot arms. Um, I think automating the interfaces should be kind of a top priority here. Um, the blank patterns, though, do require a tier three, a tier three circuit. So that is a little bit complicated because you do need four of those. Um, maybe I should, I only have two patterns left. <laughs> you do get eight from that. I don't remember where the thing was. Uh, you do get, yeah, you do get eight uh, blank patterns. So where do I want to start, man? It's like once you start getting auto crafting, it gets very, very overwhelming. To be honest, maybe we should be pushing for circuits, um, because yeah. Maybe we should automate this stuff as soon as possible. Okay, so I think maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Um, we do need another interface. So if we do, all right, we need robot arms. That's for sure. We I think we have the, that's not what we want. Um, if we do this, apparently we don't have the other. I thought we crafted that up. Maybe we didn't. Annihilation. All right. We did have everything. All right, so what we're gonna need is a couple more of this, and then we need eight, so 10 aluminum. Yeah, basically, it's actually not, I, well, the robot arm. Once we get the robot arm kind of organized here, it'll be better, so. Normally, I would, I'd be like, okay, so we just need aluminum plates. Let's make an interface for that. Let's make an interface for that. Let's make patterns for all this stuff. Unfortunately, uh, patterns are a bit expensive at the moment, so I don't think I'm going to be doing that quite that fast. Um, I do need, let's do this now. This is like my favorite time in the pack, actually. Um, I really do enjoy 
getting automation and just kind of sorting everything out and getting everything getting all this stuff automated because it is a uh, it's quite fun trying to figure out it's like a puzzle to me how can we get this to work and uh how do we get the machines placed and what's the most efficient way to do it and stuff so this is definitely fun for me all right so there is the mv that so again we need so for a robot arm we're going to need this and this so basically what we're going to be like okay so we need three plates and the thing we'll do that and then we need a couple i should probably be doing mass amounts of this stuff here actually but yeah anyway let me get this crafted up and let me clear out the bit of a basement i haven't done that yet so i need to get that done as well and yeah the cool thing about this though like i said is we can just keep all right so now we got our aluminum rods we need one more magnetic steel rod so let's you know get some steel rods and we'll magnetize those and it makes it so much easier like there is our plates we did need one gear and i think that's it yep We'll throw that in there. We'll do that. And, um, yeah. Uh, so we'll get the basement set up. And I don't know if we're going to start moving everything quite. Actually, probably not going to be moving everything yet today. But it's going to be the next day or two um, that we're going to have to kind of get our next episode or two. We're going to have to get everything kind of organized. Now, I may need to start kind of over here, maybe. Um, we might need a bit more room. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let me get this stuff crafted up, and we'll come back. All right. So there is the robot arm. We got that done. And then there is interface. So we'll throw that in there. And uh, yeah. So now we can at least do that. And well, we got that one. Uh, let's, if we take a look at it again, it just makes it so much easier trying to figure out how much we need. It calculates it for us, basically. Yes, I know we do have a calculator that I could have been using, but uh, yeah. So there is the interface, and what we think I want to do is get, yeah, because we're going to need more patterns here, so I might as well go ahead and start getting this uh set up here so these each require an assembler with soldering alloy in it we're using soldering alloy just because it's the cheapest so i'm going to attempt <laughs> to get the cables over here so this is why everything needs to be reorganized but like i said for now kind of just throwing stuff down to make crafting everything up faster and faster. So is there any way we can... I could move this energy acceptor. Let's do that. We'll move this. That, and then I can move this. Oh my goodness, I am all sorts of trapped. And then could place some cable like there. Luckily we have the the thing that will actually um actually I could probably just doesn't really matter where I put it. I can put it right here though. Um, because that is the thing. So there we go. I just, I don't need to do this, but I like to kind of see where the power is going. So it's out of there, out of there, and then into these. Um, but all right, there we go. So probably the easiest way to be would just put this here. Now, I personally like the smaller ones. You don't need the smaller ones. They work just the same as the larger interfaces. 
but I just like how these look better. What we're going to do is turn this, let's make sure. Yeah, so there's the output. We're going to have to, oh my goodness, I keep hitting the hotkey to open up the backpack, but it's not. So allow input from the output side. We'll put this there. We'll turn on that. And then we'll connect this to there. Right, device online. Perfect. So now this machine is connected to our A system. We can go ahead and put some patterns in here. It'll put the items in here. We have the orange button set to auto output, and then it'll put it back into the A system from the output, which is on this side. Now, fortunately, these only have nine patterns. So if you want a machine with multiple patterns, you're gonna have to do multiple interfaces. Um, but since channels are kind of turned off, well, not kinda, they are turned off in Omnifactory, we don't actually have to worry about any of that stuff, which is kind of fun, actually. You know, I do, love the channels in AE. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the channels. I am personally a huge fan of them, but you know what? I have no problem playing a pack that maybe just doesn't have them enabled for once. You know, it's a little bit different. It's fun. It's a little less uh, to worry about, but uh, I like the, I find it kind of like a puzzle with the channels. You have to kind of set your network up, figure out the channels. I really enjoy it, but uh, like I said, I have, I'm actually having a lot of fun not having to worry about them this playthrough. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Right, um, we will... I couldn't remember if there was a separate thing for process. Is that refined storage that has a separate? There's one for crafting and one for processing. I can. I feel like, or is that used to be a thing and now it's no longer a thing? I don't know. I can't remember, but uh, so basically we're going to set up this recipe for us. So we're going to do plastic circuit board, central processing unit, fine to know and then the other things. So let's do that. So four of those, and then eventually all this stuff is going to be auto crafting. Now, I know a lot of people have said I should. Good. Yeah. I should auto stock keep this stuff in stock. So I should set up a interface and have like, say, keep 64 of these in stock. I actually prefer to do on-demand crafting. I think that's more fun. I don't know, but we will see. Maybe I'll try the keep in stock. But um, one of my favorite things about Greg Tech is doing complicated recipes and then all your machines and everything starts turning on and everything just works. And I just find that so fun. And um, if I keep all these stuff stocked, I don't really get the same feeling. So if I just had an interface that said keep 64 of these in stock, yeah, they would turn on and stuff when I use them. But I don't know, there's something so satisfying to me about clicking a button and then all your machines just turning on and working and crafting up that thing. Yes, it, it is definitely takes a bit more time, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see where we go from here. Maybe I'll do it a little bit differently in Omnifactory. Um, I just realized I need to put these in here and I try to keep organized so I kind of know, I think this is, I can't even, I usually try to do it how the recipe is, but I, maybe not, that's a bit silly. <laughs> so yeah, just so we can kind of keep organized here. Actually, yeah, I switch those around, but um, basically you put the item in what you need and since this is not a crafting recipe, you need to do the processing pattern. So we'll go throw that in there. I'm gonna turn that off for now. So there we go, it's gonna make this stuff. And we're gonna have this, at some point, we'll have this assembly machine just dedicated to soldering alloy. Um, we're still kind of jumping around a bit with the fluids, so I'm not going to do it right this second um, because the capacitors that we are crafting up need polyethylene and they need to be done in an MV assembler. So I need to kind of switch this stuff out. So I'm not going to have this set to keep full of soldering alloy quite yet. But um, yeah, so there is the refined circuits. Basically, you just turn that on. It spits back out, and it'll be in the A system now. And then we'll do that. So these items give you four refined circuits. Make that a pattern. 
and then we put the pattern in there. Nice. So now we should be able to, if we did everything right, if we do this, there we go. There is a crafting recipe for that. And I should be able to just do that. Let's see if we can, we'll do it from this side so we can see it turn on. We'll craft up one of those. It should put everything in there. It's turning on, it's crafting up. And then it'll spit them back out into the A system. And there we go. There is refined circuits, auto crafting. Man, does that feel awesome. Now, basically just move up the line. So now we need to do these. Unfortunately, I have no patterns um, because they are quite expensive. Um, I do want to keep these. There's no point in like using those. So we're just going to have to do this. So now we're going to need four of these, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, we'll do four of these. And I wish I could make the pattern. For, maybe we should. You know what? I'm going to take these off. We're going to do the pattern for them again, but I really need, I want to get these blank patterns automated as soon as possible. Um, the interfaces aren't super important at this time. Maybe I'll use like, these are so easy to do, especially when you can shift click the recipe in, like that is awesome. Um, but yeah, all right. So the next one is basically the same. And then we'll just do the one plastic. I think it was, oop, we're out of, see, this is where we run into the issue with these SMD things. So we're gonna need more of these, which is the thin polyvinyl. We should, polyvinyl. Yeah, we have, ooh, we're a bit low on that. So we're gonna have to craft up more of those, but uh, this will get us at least a few. So aluminum foil, I think we need, is it? so it's four to one, I need two of those. Um, but we do need, what is it? Yeah, all right, so it's such a weird amount. So eventually we'll have the assembler set up for Ooh, I am a little short on polyethylene. We'll just do... I tried to do, at this point in the stage, like... So since this requires 36, this is four crafts. So I tried to do, like, one sheet would be 144 millibuckets. I'll do four of these. Unfortunately, I'm short on the poly... the polyurethane. So I'm just going to end up with a... Uh, that's right. We'll just end up with uh, some extra, but I'll just have to leave it in a thing. But man, I can't wait to get all this stuff automated. So yeah, we have half an ingot there. I'll just have to kind of do that and we'll use it when we get a second. But man, I love how everything is going directly into the a system we're pretty good on yeah we have a whole drive but uh i got to be careful how much we put in i do have 2000 clay so that's filling up that drive uh, so what was this this was 222 yeah so smd need some more of that as well i think that's electrum and the blue one is electrum and why do i keep doing three Electroman carbon dust, I think it is. So tin alloy. I did get rid of those fine tin wires because I was getting, I kept getting them mixed up. They looked exactly the same. And then what's the, right, the three circuits. So refined. So two, three. All right. So then we'll go ahead and do this one. I know this is completely out of whack with the other thing. I do actually think I have, we have, I do actually already have a circuit. So what we can do is actually do this, make the pattern. I can have to just throw all that stuff in there. We can already, we'll just throw the pattern. If you already have the items, you can just do that. 
And, uh... Oh, all right. So middle click doesn't seem to be working. That's I'm gonna have to sort that out. Usually, if you have the recipe, like there is a crafting recipe for that, but yeah, the middle click's not working for that. I may have to. There might be a conflict, so I'm gonna have to get that sorted out. Um, actually, controls. Is there any? That's Air 2 wireless. It's not. Oh, I may have a key middle click inventory sorting. I wonder if that is. Let's just wonder if that's conflicting. No. All right. I'm going to have to figure out why that middle click is not working for the, the crafting. Because that is kind of. I feel like that's. Kind of game breaking, um, because I have no way to, unless I pull everything out, I can't craft anymore. So if I need to do thousands of something, and there's thousands of it or something under there already, I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, so there we go. There is, yeah. See, I wanted to do another craft, and so we got four. It should be crafting up, and then that will get us to the third one. So. Yeah, let me get this sorted out and uh, let me see if I can figure out why the middle click is not working. All right, I am back and apparently it is tied to pick block. It's a vanilla thing. So try that and see if that works. So we're fine. There we go. All right, nice. Yeah, so it doesn't work. Pick block. There we go. All right, what did I miss? <laughs> what did I miss? I did this last time too. Plastic board. You can't see it in the thing is the issue. And the other reason I keep doing that is because the circuits are six items in Greg Tech New Horizons, so the seventh item is kind of throwing me off. But I would <laughs> point that out. I know I keep comparing this to Greg Tech New Horizons, but, you know, we played that pack for over a year, almost every single day. Bound to happen. Now, these are... the circuits eventually we are going to upgrade these to the i think tier Let's see if i can remember um so we have that that is it yeah eventually we're going to be upgrading it to even a better line of circuits um, but for now that is going to work and if we take a look at yeah as we can see um, eventually we're going to upgrade to this line or the base mv circuits and then eventually we'll upgrade these to these but uh, we're not quite there yet we need epoxy so yeah we're not uh we're not about to do that but i really kind of want to push towards that as soon as possible, but we are going to need an HV assembly machine, so yeah, we're a bit a bit far from that. But, uh, alright, so there we go. I think I am going to borrow this. So we can do um, pattern. So that's not what we want in there, but we do want this one. So there you go, fine silver wire. We got our polyethylene sheets. There we go, so pattern. There we go. All right, so making some slow process. It's always slow at first, but uh, yeah. Now the couple ones that I 
got rid of there we will we can go ahead and get the recipe so what was it piston and then the annihilation because we're going to need a lot more interfaces we're going to be doing i knew how to spell annihilation we're going to be doing a ton of these interfaces all right so there we go so i usually try to keep them a bit organized but uh there's really no super need now unfortunately we only have two more recipes that we can put in here so we're gonna have to get an interface again sooner than later now, question is, where? what do we want to do next? I guess what basically we're going to want to do is start crafting up, automating everything that'll get us more interfaces. So if we look at this, we're going to need one on a polarizer. We're going to need, like, on a lathe. We're going to need... We can actually do that. I don't know if we want to, do we want to automate that? <laughs> Small gear, I don't know if we need to get that automated yet. Um, but probably the easiest way would be to just craft up like eight um, until we kind of get a little bit more. I'll just do that manually. Um, so what did that? Yeah, I should just do like, you know, 16 magnetic things and then I'll do, you know, 30 rods and a whole bunch. That's probably the smartest thing to do right at this point. I am going to, well, first we need to smelt that up. So I'll throw, get a whole bunch of rods going. We'll turn all these into the gears. So this is kind of, you know, batch crafting. It definitely... Um, it definitely is the the better way to do it than just crafting up just what you need. But uh, yeah, now that we're kind of getting sorted with resources, actually I'm gonna throw that in there. I needed a whole bunch of tin. Is yeah, I'm just kind of leveling up the stuff as we go. But uh, yeah, I was getting tin. I can't remember why I had the blaze, but sure, why not? Man, I love that. I don't know why. I just really like, I enjoy this. I feel like I'm like, yay, we're leveling up. Feels good. So, uh, yeah, and eventually we'll have this hooked up to the A system and everything, but uh, probably don't need all that skeleton stuff. I'll leave that in there. But, uh, all right, uh, I guess. Yeah, let me get a couple more interfaces here and we'll just kind of keep automating. Now, like I said, we're going to have to rearrange everything. And the the cool part, or I don't know, some people would say it's too easy, but since we have conductive iron, these are lossless cables. We can have a super, super long kind of row of machines and we're not going to have power issues. So... Maybe we'll we'll do that, but I am gonna have to figure that all out. So, but let me cut here, and we'll get some more machines kind of automated here, and we'll come back. All right, so I've gone ahead and you know got a lot of uh, craft up a whole bunch of extra items, and we just make sure everything is working. Yeah, nice. So I think probably. Um, a compressor would probably be one of the better ones to get going. So I'll allow input from outputs and then do that because I do seem to use a lot of plates and stuff. So again, yep, just kind of crafting up everything we could possibly think of. 
to get more in faces and stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, like I said, this is a pretty fun time in the pack for me. I like kind of sorting out. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just bought one. Oh, but I forgot I had uh, extra in there. So uh, yeah, there we go. And then we could even do like rubber plates. I don't know if we're going to be, how much we're going to be, eh, probably don't need to do a recipe for that. But, uh, yeah, so there we go. If we do interface, oh, we already have the inner plates, but uh, I think wires, maybe wires I should have done. I don't know. Actually, changed my mind. <laughs> I think wires should probably be one so we do that it's basically just trying to figure out um the, the best way to and i wish you could it's a bit annoying trying to get that allow for input from outside or allow input from the output slot. All right, so we'll do that. And then, yeah, just keep adding these. And like I said, we're gonna kind of sort out what I wanna do. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.